Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk about recent rating actions taken on U, two U.S.-based auto manufacturers. The raising of the Ford rating to triple B minus and the outlook revision on General Motors to positive uh, from stable. Joining me is Dan Picciotto. Dan's a senior director in the manufacturing and transportation practice here at S&P based in New York. Dan, thanks for joining. Thank you, Mike. So um, I, just, I, I just went over the actions. Maybe provide some context to, to the actions and the drivers, more importantly, the drivers behind why we, why we took these actions. Yes, yeah, so today we raised the rating on Ford to investment grade triple B minus with a stable outlook, and we affirmed the ratings on GM at double B plus and revised the outlook to positive. Uh, one thing to note is on Ford Motor Credit, we do align the ratings, so that rating was also raised to triple B minus. We consider it a core subsidiary. And for General Motors Financials, which is uh, uh, rapidly expanding and sort of a newer entity, we do have a one-notch differential. We consider it strategically important subsidiary. So it's double B with the positive outlook. And that designation of core versus strategically important is something we'll continue to review. Mm -hmm. But what were the drivers? Uh, for Ford, we revised two assessments that we have on the company. One is uh, the financial risk profile. We revised it from significant to intermediate, and that kind of reflects our forward-looking view that the credit measures are going to improve to levels that are commensurate with that designation. Same is true for GM. We revised the financial risk profile to uh, intermediate for the same reasons, really. I guess the differentiation, when you think about it, is for Ford, we think that there's been uh, a, a bit more of a track record and a, a bit better overall uh, execution on the business risk profile side. What we cited last year when we revised the outlook to positive was we wanted to see some diversification of profit and continuation of good performance in North America. North America has been really exceptional for Ford in our view and uh, on the profit diversification, Europe is still a very challenging market. Mm -hmm. But they have started to gain traction in China with a lot of capacity expansion and sales growth there. So that combination of factors was was one of the key considerations in raising the rating on Ford. So, so how about the notch differential that remains between the, between the two companies? What what wh provide some context there? Well, what's the drivers behind that? Yeah. So, s simply speaking, the differential is really that we still have an assessment of GM GM's business risk profile as fair or sort of the, the category below that of Ford. And what we're really looking for there is, I think we acknowledge, we do acknowledge that they've had a, a good track record for since the, the downturn, since 09, in maintaining profitability, uh, reducing the cost base, having very good North American performance. And actually on diversification internationally, they have a very good position in China. Hmm. So they do benefit from being uh, you know, a leader in the world's largest market with very profitable joint venture operations there. What we're really looking for is, I think, more seasoning and more execution as it relates to the other regions. North America lagging for it a little bit on operating margin, although still what we would describe as good for mm -hmm. GM. And Europe for both, as I mentioned, is a, is a work in progress. And we've said that GM has probably at least a, a bigger headline or profile uh, issue with its Opal brand there than, uh, than Ford would. But the distinction is, is rather subtle, and there is a, a building track record for GM that we'll monitor over the next uh, year or so to see if, if we think that uh, investment grade rating is warranted. Okay, so, so the, the last question I have, let, let's talk a little bit about actions as, as we look out. So you, we upgraded Ford with a stable outlook, points to relatively stable credit quality as our expectation o over the near term. However, GM, with the positive outlook, well, what are you looking for? Get a little more specific in what we're looking for to, to, to maybe raise that rating, so some of the triggers. Yeah. Well, we have certain credit measures that we expect them to hit, which would include about two and a half times lever debt to adjusted debt to EBITDA and 15% or more free operating cash flow to adjusted debt. And we're including pension, which is a big swing factor in all of this. So what, how discount rates shake out is going to be a factor as it relates to the credit measures. Sure. Uh, the, on the business side, we'd probably say sustain mid to high uh, single digit margins in North America. Mm -hmm. There's potential for some improvement there with some new product launches coming out from the tr profitable truck side. Uh, continue to sustain the leadership position in China and demonstrate a pathway over the next several years where we have a greater level of confidence that Europe is going to get 
uh, under control and return to a profitable position. We're really looking, thinking about it on a regional basis. That's great, Dan. Appreciate you joining. Thank you. We'll see you again next time.